How's it going guys? The first big news for uh, F1 2021 has come out and I've been waiting for this because I've been waiting for whether it will be NASCAR or whether it, whether it will be F1 to drop whatever they have to offer. And uh, yeah, they announced the game, they announced the features. That's what we're going to talk about. We're also going to talk about how this affects NASCAR 2021 as well. You might notice I'm acting a little bit different. <laughs> Today's Thursday, man. <laughs> I'm stressed. Arsenal. Europa League. <laughs> oh god. But here is the announced trailer. Um, I'm actually, well, I'm gonna play it separately. You're not gonna see me in the screen, so we'll play it, no interruptions, and uh, it's just, it's just a trailer. It's like a little, nice little cinematic trailer that you guys will enjoy. So, let's watch. He tried to stop them from signing you. Anything for Aston Driver. a brave man to admit he can't compete anymore. We all feel sorry for you, mate. You never stood a chance with him. You want respect, you give respect. That's how it works. Okay, so that was the trailer, and now we're going to talk about uh, the features as you can see right here on your screen. So, uh, release date is July 16th. That was something I was also uh, looking at, because if you guys remember, NASCAR uh, 21 came out July... Or NASCAR, not 21, NASCAR 85 came out July 7th, I think it was. And that was really early. Um, I think we can kind of now officially know that nascar 21 will not be coming out until probably august I, I would i would assume that's the time frame um i don't see them announcing it after f1 and then releasing before f1 i don't think that's going to happen um so that's just my opinion so we'll see how that goes for you know that 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 might be nascar 21's little uh reveal there um for us is that when does this game come out because this is the main competitor this you know we have f1 versus nascar even though they're not really true competitors because f1's way way bigger a lot more sales a lot bigger uh motorsport in general um and, and they're much more developed with codemasters as well so uh f1 2021 what does it have well it has something called breaking point i said that was what the trailer was um basically they're the the, the game's gonna try to put you in situations where you're probably gonna have to make choices uh there's going to be a linear storyline. That's what story mode is. Story mode is not a career, okay, where you like you just, you know, kind of go on. Um, no, story mode is genuinely a, a story. It tells a story, like a, like a linear single player story mode. And I, I love that. I would, I never want those to be in racing games until the racing game itself is fully flushed out. F1, as we got, as we know, is fully flushed out. It's a fantastic, probably the best motorsport game out there by far. Um, it is so, so good. And so now it is time with the next gen systems as well, a little bit more horsepower under the hood. Codemasters is looking for new innovative ways to keep improving and they bring in Breaking Point, which is their brand new story mode. Rise from the ranks of Formula 2 to a shot at stardom in the world of Formula 1. Experience the lifestyle both on and off the track as you take your seat in the pinnacle of motorsport. And uh, Devin Butler from F1 2019 will be back. So that was a little... Uh, when they first introduced F2, they, they brought in some fantasy characters. Well, Devin Butler will be back. Um, and that will be a whole situation where we will, we we should expect you to be in some team that might have some uh, friction. Team orders might be there. Uh, you'll obviously have some stuff coming off the track as well. We're going to have cut scenes most likely. I mean, it should be really... I'm really interested to see how it looks. Uh, we've seen certain story modes specifically from EA and 2K for, for 2K's basketball games and EA with FIFA and Madden. Now, the story modes in FIFA and Madden were never that good. They were kind of just... The cutscenes looked nice, but they were just they just weren't that good. So I think it's very difficult to make a story mode that's really... I, I wouldn't say... It could be good, but that leaves an impact because we know these story modes uh, in sporting games are 
they're difficult to it's it's not like a like a single player triple a you know story mode right it's it's very difficult to leave an impact because it's usually very short it usually you there's some sort of drive you're just trying to get to the track and and i want to see how codemasters takes this on and uh this is their first you know time trying it and they'll probably try it again in the future so we'll see how they do Another thing that they're able to do now is a two-player career. So they've got so Codemasters has gotten to a point now where I mean, would they have my team? They have the normal career. They have uh, the or the online is set up. They have co-op. They have multiplayer. They have they have the, the game itself is fantastic. They have everything kind of set. So now they're really starting to experiment. And two-player career is something that they are doing. So this is basically a co-op career. Um, that it's the ability to play career with your friends, either co-op or competitively. So you don't have to be a co-op. You don't have to be teammates. You can actually do a competitive career. Um, as each player will com have complete control over the uh, assists, you'll be able to enjoy the game, whether you're a veteran or a newcomer to the series. So think about connected franchise for Madden, uh, when you could enter a franchise mode and you could bring your friends in there and every, you would all have, the, you know, you draft the same and all that. Well, a two player career, you can be, uh, do a co-op career or you could do competitive. So one, your friend could race at Mercedes and you could race at Red Bull. doesn't really matter. Um, it, it, that should be a lot of fun too. So to get more friends in that, that that's something that motorsport games really struggle with, uh, in my opinion, is, is that co-op to, you know, getting, getting friends on the couch. You know, it used to be like that way back in the day before internet and everything, but nowadays it's a little bit different. So, uh, I really like that, that they're trying to put that in there. And then this is when the features kind of start, you know, slowing down because they, they put a lot of effort into story mode. The real season start, F1's 2021 real season start feature. So you could just jump into the to live season act, uh, the action. That is something I've seen many times in sport games. Uh, it's, it's, it's like a back of the box feature. I don't think a lot of people are going to take advantage of it, but it's cool. You know, if you want to you play, you, you get the game in July and you just want to start a season with whatever has already happened in real life. So you could do that. This was something I was looking at for F1 because I was expecting NASCAR to do exactly the same. Uh, that is that it's coming to Xbox Series X and S. It is coming to PS5 as well as PS4, Xbox, and PC. So it's coming to basically six different platforms. Um, and that is something that I wanted to see if they would do that. Uh, that's why I, that's exactly what I expect from NASCAR as well. Um, is that they're going to be uh, shifting to six different platforms. And and it worries me a little bit that they're that these these uh, companies are doing this. Because that's a lot of testing, man. It's a lot of testing. Make sure the game runs smoothly on different platforms. Will the PS4 and the Xbox One have different features than the PS5 and the Series X? We saw that when we had the 360 going to the PS4, even PS2 going to PS3. Um, you know, the, the different generations, when you're trying to cross a generation, it's difficult to, to get everything on the right platform. Uh, and then as uh, everything's returning to F1 as well. So you have my team, two players, split screen, shorter season, accessible options, F2, all that. Uh, scalable assist options, driver stats, multiplayer, all that is going as well. Um, so now let's talk about how this affects NASCAR. Because NASCAR 2021, I expect, will be announced either late this month or early next month. It, it has to be coming around one of those two times. Now that F1 has revealed uh, what they're doing, I don't, I don't see this as competition in NASCAR because, because what uh, Motorsport Games is doing with NASCAR, they're at the very beginning. They, they are at F1 2010. Really, that's where they are. They're at F1 2010 uh, when, when Codemasters was first making their F1 games. Um, F1's, you know, Codemasters have been doing this for a decade, so they, they are fully into this uh, and, and, and doing a really good job. Now, for NASCAR, what, I, what I like to see is a, a story mode. No. I, not right now. I mean, like I said, I don't. I never want to see a story mode until you are ready to deliver a story mode. Um, like when the rest of the game is ready to go, then you can do it. Uh, but not not now. Um, there are there's, there are other things though that I think NASCAR 21 could could look at, and I, I love seeing what F1 does because I I love seeing you know they're very innovative in terms of what they're doing with their motorsport games, and I want motorsport games to look at F1 and, and try to take some some feedback from there. So the two player career. That is something that interests me. Uh, that that would be something that I would like to see uh, in NASCAR 21 as a feature if they have time to do it. Um, that would be really cool. Be able to race with one of your friends. I, and I'm not saying land wise. I'm saying like online wise. If you if you want to race with a friend who is not near you, you only know them via you know gaming or, or online. Um, it would be really cool to be able to do a career with them. Uh, and that's what you know two player career is. So that's gonna be really cool. Um, and, and other than that, I mean, that's the two main features for F1 this year. Everything else will be the same. Uh, I think that also speaks to the point that COVID has taken an impact as well. I mean, they focused all their assets on one 
feature and then and and we go on nascar 21's been in development development for basically three years so uh we will see but they, they had to work on the core of the game so we'll see how that goes pretty much guys i'm excited that i saw this news today uh what, F april 15th is when f1 revealed their their game codemasters revealed uh their game coming in what two three months time it's gonna be three months until you know july 16th so uh, that's usually that's the right time frame to, to release to, to, to introduce your game and then start marketing so uh, I'm excited what I see and now that means very soon very soon NASCAR 21 should be announced I will be pleasantly waiting to see what they have to offer because uh, I'll be getting both of these games we'll be doing an F1 series obviously I'm definitely gonna do the story mode 100% we might live stream the story mode actually no we don't have to make videos on it we could just live stream it and that, that might be kind of cool as well so um, I don't know what I'll do there, but we'll definitely go back to F1 2021. I know a lot of you have been asking for F1 2020 back. I just didn't have time to bring it back, so I've been waiting for this game to come out. Uh, and so, three months. If you guys could wait three more months, <laughs> F1 2021 will be coming back onto the channel. Uh, and it's going to be a really busy summer for me. I mean, my goodness, we're going to have a lot a lot of things to do um, this year when it comes to the gaming side of things. So, if you guys like the video, make sure to like button. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Comment down below. What do you think about F1's uh, new game, F1 2021, their features? And how do you think, uh, or when do you think NASCAR will, you know, Motorsport Games and, and NASCAR will announce their game? When do you think that is coming? I'm expecting within the next few weeks. Uh, and hopefully, uh, I'm right here. So... Let's see how it goes. I'll see you guys later, and uh, I'll be stressed for the rest of the day. So take care of yourselves. Peace out.